Speak to any boater and they'll say that the most stressful part of driving a boat is berthing it. But Rainmarine with its dock sense system and the virtual bumper are here to take the stress and strain out of berthing and banish those nerves forever. We're down here on the Hamble today to give it a try and see if it works. How does the system actually work then? Well, Rainmarine has employed the technology of parent company FLIR and used these stereo machine cameras, which are usually used to count people in and out of shopping centres, but they've marinized them and mounted five on the boat, two at the bow, two amidships, and one at the stern. And these build a 3D map of the perimeter of the boat. And then you can set a virtual bumper, an invisible barrier that physically won't let you get too close to an object, be it a pontoon, a pile, another boat. You can set it to different distances, usually a metre, but you can take it down to half a metre if you want to. This system talks directly to the joystick's ECU and will limit power so that you physically can't move towards the object and then it will hold you in place. It's said to account for wind and tide as well and it will fit to any boat that's got a joystick, including shaft drive versions. Sounds great in theory, but does it work? The system is active at the moment, it's just holding us off the berth. It's a U-shaped slip. We're gonna go in stern two. Um, the guys tell me all I need to do is pull the joystick back and the boat will do the rest. So against my better judgment, let's give it a go. Now notice I'm not even tempted to look behind me. I'm using this readout here, which gives me a 3D plan of the pontoon area and also a camera view from every camera. So you can see all around and I can feel us slowing down a touch as we get close to the pontoon on the port side. I'm just holding the joystick back. I haven't done anything different. And again, there's no temptation to really look round. You soon get over that. You're using this screen in front of you where you also have a, a readout of the propulsion, the direction it's coming and how much is being used. And we're a bit too close to the port side, so now we move away. Gives us a bit of breathing space from that port side pontoon. And then I can go back to harder stern. We're moving back in. And the boat brings us to a gentle stop and we're in the berth now. I've still got the joystick pulled right back, but that virtual bumper is stopping us going any further. We're a metre away at the stern, as I can see from the camera. Now I can just let go, and the boat will hold us in place. So we're hovering in the berth a metre away from the pontoon at the stern at the moment. A little bit of a stretch for the crew to get off. So what we can now do is reduce that virtual bumper down to half a metre, and you'll see that on the screen the bumper gets thinner and then it's a case of back onto the joystick, harder stern and this time the system is going to allow us to get within half a metre of the pontoon before it activates and stops us knocking into it. So now that is a perfectly comfortable distance for the crew to step off with a line. I've still got the joystick harder stern, I can let go now and the boat will keep us that distance away. It's all very calm, it's all very relaxing, it's all very easy. So now we're holding half a metre off the pontoon, which means that I can hand over the helm. The boat will hold itself in position, allowing me to come right to the stern. I could grab a line if I wanted, but you can just step off. And though there is someone at the helm at the moment, this is the boat doing all this. They're not on the controls, they're just behind the helm for safety reasons, but the boat is holding itself right in that position. Imagine if there's just two of you. How much easier this makes life. Crewing, helping with lines, game changer. Yes, this is still in prototype phase on this boat, as you can tell by the way the cameras are mounted. In the production version, it will be more sympathetic to the looks of the boat. And I know there are people who are gonna say you should learn to drive a boat properly first. And I agree with that as well, because you do need to know how to drive a boat in case the technology fails. But when this technology works, it feels like a turning point. The biggest reason people are put off boating is they have a scare when they're berthing, scare themselves, scare their family. This, from what we've seen today, takes all of that panic out of it and for me feels like a real game changer.